and another arrival in the compressor world has landed at Springholm. It was delivered by Shane just over half an hour ago, offloaded with the old JCB 3C3. And it's a Ingersoll Rand model 242, which is a four inch cylinder on the low pressure side, a two and a half on the high pressure side, and a two and three quarter stroke. Um, these can make up to 14, 15 cubic feet a minute, but it would need to have the three horsepower motor for that. This is a uh, two kilowatt, so a little bit underpowered, and I think it's running with a slightly smaller pulley. Um, and the receiver is here. Uh, the ends are three eighths of an inch, and so is the main body. Uh, that will never ever rot. Still got some of the original Ingersoll Rand made in Great Britain. And it's got its big birthday coming up on the 27th of next month. It was made on the 27th of January 1951. So, turn 70. Uh, looks like the absolutely original pressure switch. In fact, it's incredibly original, this. That's probably a, a later Bundenberg gauge. Nice quality gauge. Um, original safety valve. and. Handy it have the separators, and I think that's the Euro High Flow connector. So good belts, yeah. Apparently there's some fault not being investigated with the motor, and I'm hoping it's something to do with all this dodgy wiring, or maybe this pressure switch, or I imagine it's a capacitor involved in there somewhere. That might be that, but if not, I uh, I have a both a two and a three horsepower that I could deploy um, so absolutely not a problem not a problem at all it looks it looks good subject to trying it but uh, Bendor assured me that until the motor packed in it was making air he used it for some spraying and tire inflation and the like and it he pronounced it sound so 150 pounds and 80 to get it here so I thought that's a nice piece of man cave furniture, if nothing else. But I think it'll go in the bottom shed and be used for little spray jobs and inflation and that kind of thing down there. So, well pleased so far. Well pleased indeed.